If your employees must commute to work, offering commuter benefits can be an excellent way for attracting and retaining your employees. But what are commuter benefits, and how do they work? In this video, I'll explain commuter benefits, how different types of commuter benefits work, and what expenses your employees can use them for. Commuter benefits, sometimes called transportation benefits, are employee perks that help your team offset the cost and time of commuting to and from work every day. Employers use these benefits as part of a benefits package. Depending on how the program is designed, commuter benefits can either be pre-tax or taxable to employees. So why should you offer commuter benefits to your employees? Employee benefits can improve morale and engagement, reducing employee turnover. When your employees feel appreciated and taken care of, they're more likely to stick around. Transportation benefits provide some unique perks to your employees, such as reducing frustration and stress during commutes, helping employees financially by paying for gas, transit passes, or parking, and reducing your organization's environmental impact by offering benefits for carpooling, mass transportation, and other alternatives to driving. How do commuter benefits work? There are many different types of commuter benefits available. First, let's discuss pre-tax and tax-free commuter benefits. Many cities and counties allow workers to purchase transit cards or passes on a pre-tax basis. Additionally, the IRS allows employers to provide qualified transportation benefits with pre-tax dollars. If you opt to reimburse your employees tax-free for their transportation expenses, you'll need to substantiate those expenses. Under federal law, you can reimburse employees up to $300 per month tax-free for rides in a commuter highway vehicle or for transit passes. You can also reimburse your employees up to $300 per month for qualified parking expenses near your workplace or at a transit facility. Previously, you could reimburse employees for bicycle commuting expenses tax-free, but the IRS suspended that program in 2017. You can also reimburse any transit-related expenses, such as gas, bicycle maintenance costs, and more, with taxable benefits like employee stipends. Are you required to offer commuter benefits? Some cities and states require employers to offer commuter benefits to their employees. Any organization with 20 or more full-time employees must offer commuter benefits for transit passes or van pools to employees in Washington, D.C., New York City, Seattle, Washington, and the state of New Jersey. Organizations with 50 or more full-time employees must offer commuter benefits in Los Angeles and the San Francisco Bay Area. Finally, any organization with at least 10 employees must offer commuter benefits in Richmond, California and Berkeley, California. Some local jurisdictions provide tax breaks and incentives to employers who offer these benefits. For example, Washington State provides a tax credit of up to $60 per employee per year to employers who provide benefits such as ride sharing, public transportation passes, and non-motorized commuting. No matter which type of commuter benefits you decide to offer to your employees, they are an excellent way to invest in your workforce. If you are interested in offering commuter benefits to your employees, PeopleKeep can help. Our employee stipend administration software allows employers to create custom stipends of their choice for expenses like transportation, wellness, and more. To learn more, visit our website, peoplekeep.com. You can also check out the links in the description below for more resources. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more employee benefits and small business tips. Thanks for watching.